It's Wednesday, September the 24th, 2014. I'm Betty Alma, and I'm out and about in Grantham today because today is the very first day of the Gravity Fields Festival. I have just called in at a place called The Shambles, which is an enormous empty warehouse, which I believe is usually used for storing the market stalls. It's just off the conduit. Now, I have been inside, and I have seen the most mesmerizing beautiful exquisite light display when you go in it is absolutely pitch dark all you can see are lights and they are on the ends i believe of mechanical arms and these lights various colors are executing patterns as though in the sky i thought i was supposed to be in the heavens uh, there are two cameras in there filming the movement of these lights and there is background noise and music, you know, the music of the spheres. And these cameras are feeding through a computer all the patterns that the lights are doing. And you can go into a second room and see, you can actually see these patterns forming on three screens. They go round and round and execute themselves. Then all the light forms up to make the most beautiful, beautiful site. Now I'm with Joanne who is the general manager of, what is it Joanne? IOU, IOU from Halifax. Well congratulations to the company because I think it's breathtaking. I would encourage everybody to get down here and have a good look before it all finishes at the end of the festival. Now Joanne can you tell me who designs these beautiful things or also how do you get the get up and go to put it all together because it takes some doing I'm quite certain Yes it does um, the original concept is by um, David Wheeler who is the IOU artistic director and the inspiration came from trying to create a miniature universe um, so when you come to see Volatile Light um, you'll see um, mechanical sculptures carrying LED lights which form different um, shapes and patterns. Um, we have three cameras that um, film the movement of the sculptures and you can go into a separate room where you can see the light trails um, being creative created live and in real time these light trails then go on to form light paintings um, and and give um, audiences an understanding of different technological uses of camera te technology um, where you can also try and make your own light paintings if you've got the appropriate apps on your um, telephones we've also then got a third space where you can have a play around with creating your own light uh, paintings using um, lightsabers and other um, fun items that we've created. I had a go at that and it was great fun. Mm -hmm. um, the, we've worked with several artists on this project. Um, two key artists are mechanical and kinetic sculptors, um, Andy Plant and um, Jim Bond, and they've created um, the magnificent sculptures that you can see the LED lights attached to. Um, we also have a creative team at IOU featuring David Wheeler or already mentioned um, Penny Cunningham and um, Dan Powers and they're our technical team that do most of the intricate computer programming that you'll also see if you come to the event. Well I had a go at the light painting and I'm going to have a word with the gentleman who is stewarding that bit in just a moment. I'm now in the light painting room and I'm with David Brown who is the steward in here. Now David can you explain to us what we're doing and looking at because it's great fun but you know I'm not a technical person so I would appreciate your input. Well you, you saw the, all the contraptions in the main room. I did. Um, where they're going round in circles and other shapes and circles within circles and then that's fed into the camera feeds it into a computer and you get patterns that you saw in the other room. Basically what we've got here is where you do it yourself by waving a light wand or even better a little light windmill in front of a television screen and the camera picks it up and uh, takes a picture every fraction of a second so you get all these lovely flowery patterns. When you gave me the light wand I felt like Obi-Wan Kenobi or <laughs> Luke Skywalker. It was great fun. Yes, it's very strange things. We've had 
oh, about 60 young children uh, through this afternoon. But, of course, uh, they had to share the, the wands and, and things and the magic gloves. But I think they all had a go at it and they, they seemed to enjoy it, as do us older ones. Well, I'm certainly enjoying it. Well, thank you so much. Also here, volunteering to steward at this exhibition, is Councillor Jeff Thompson. Good to see you, Jeff. And you, Betty. Wonderful to see you. It really is. Now, I wondered, can you just give me your general overall thoughts about this wonderful light exhibition? I think it's absolutely fascinating uh, to, to see these things actually working and to be able to draw with the things as we leave is not only wonderful for we, we adults, but to see the school children absolutely absorbed by it. They, they find it totally mesmeric. And we've had several parties of school children through this morning. We have two parties of 30, three parties of 30, I think it is. And they've loved every minute, so it has to be good. It's wonderful. Well, I have enjoyed it hugely. I know sometimes people say, sometimes you don't grow up, and I think I'm one of those. I don't mind in the least. I'd rather be a child at heart and enjoy everything with great gusto than sit looking stony-eyed on the sidelines. And, and if you've never grown up, and if, if, if that's the case, Betty, I hope none of us do, because you're absolutely charming, and I don't want to grow up either if we grow up <laughs> well, like you. Well done. <laughs> now, turning lastly back to Joanne. Joanne... It's so kind of you to make me so welcome. And all I can say is warmest congratulations on a wonderful show and may the whole thing continue to be so successful. Are you going on anywhere else after Grantham? Um, we're not until early next year um, and we'll be taking one of our other exhibitions, Fulcrum, to a venue in Manchester called Z Arts. And thank you very much. It's been really delightful to no. meet you as well, Betty. It's my pleasure... Although I have lived in Grantham for many, many years, I'm a Liverpudlian born and bred. And being so, I can't stand on the sidelines. I like to get in there and see what's going on. And this is wonderful. And I would encourage everybody who can to come along and see it. Visit our website, gravityfm.net. Local radio for local people. On Gravity FM. <laughs>